Hello, this is Chad. You probably found this video because you're having problems with your Nest Hello. And, uh, or you have just installed your Nest Hello and you've gotten an orange or amber ring around your button and the app is telling you that you need to hire an electrician to fix it. Today I'm going to show you what I did to fix it. I'm going to tell you what causes it and I'm also going to show you a, a couple of ways that you can fix it. Let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we are going to test the voltage of our transformer. So this is a 16 volt transformer and as you can see it had 20.1 volts. So it's pushing out four more volts than what it's rated at. Now this is a brand new transformer and uh, usually new transformers do tend to be higher than what they're rated at. And, and so if you've got an older home and you don't have 20, or excuse me, if you don't have at least 16 volts coming out of your transformer, then you know that it's, it's a problem. Uh, because the Nest Hello needs a constant 16 volts to run. Uh, and you'll even see that actually the 20 volts isn't enough to run it either. But let's get into that. So now I'm going to stick my meter on the transformer and I'm going to hit the button on the Nest Hello. So this is going to ring the chime and we're going to see what the voltage drops down to. So I don't know if you saw that, but it dropped down to 15.8 volts. So the Nest Hello needs a constant 16 volts is what it, it shows in the manual. That's the low end. So we did dip below that. Now, we do have our power kit installed. If you don't have your power kit installed, then you probably actually drop down to 13 volts when you hit the button. And that's, that's really bad. Um, so as you can see, the, the chime is really our problem. Uh, that's, that's really the issue that we're having with this. It's not enough to be able, this isn't enough to supply this a constant 16 volts and hit the button and ring the chime at the same time. So what I did to stop this is I eliminated the door chime. Uh, I ended up disconnecting it. So remember when you hooked up your power kit, you had to take the front and transformer off of these two uh, terminals and then you hook this into those terminals. Well, I'm going to bypass that uh, because I, I don't need this. So what this does, what the power kit does, is it's basically a capacitor. It stores power inside here and then when you hit the button on the chime and it's sending power to the chime, well, it uses some of the power in, in this uh, power kit, which is a capacitor, and, and that makes it so it doesn't drop below, uh, you know, a, a certain level. But this only lasts a fraction of a second. So um, if, we, if we unhook this and we just had the Nest Hello, this, even though this is rated at 20, it would have dropped down to 13 volts. And I'll, I'll show you at the end of the video how it works with a, a standard doorbell. Uh, I'll put in a, a doorbell and I'll leave the power kit on and we'll see what happens. So anyways, for this purposes of this video, I, and what I did at home, I just bypassed this. Also, it's recommended that you um, do what I didn't do 
and turn the power off to your doorbell. Uh, meant to unplug it and or turn off the breaker, but I just got going. Don't make that same mistake that I did. So anyways, I have now just wire nutted the front and transformer wires together that were on these two terminals. So basically, I, I've taken this out of the equation. Now, I could just leave this in here and hooked up, but it's, it's not going to do anything since I've bypassed it by hooking these two wires together. The chime's no longer in the equation, and I could unhook it, or I can just leave it if I ever decide to upgrade transformers. Maybe I'll do that and, and leave it in there. But chances are, I'm not going to. Uh, works well. It's been working this way for a while, and, and, and I don't see any need to change it. Now, um, there's one other step that we need to do. So since we bypassed this, now we need to tell the app that uh, the chime is no longer in the equation. So I'm going to hit settings, and I'm going to go to indoor chime off. And now it's turned off. So that's the last thing that I need to do. And I could now just stick the cover on and we're done. So now you're going to say, well, what about a door chime? Now, how do I hear that somebody, how do I hear the doorbell? Well, you get a push notification on your phone. Plus, if you have a Google Home Mini or a Google Home Hub or the Google Home, you get notified. So I'm going to hit the button. Someone's at the front door. And there is other features that you, that utilize this as well. It can do face detection and tell you who's at the front door. So if, if you don't have a Google Home and you have the Nest Hello, you probably ought to get one, but more than likely you got one with your Nest Hello. So you're, you're set and you no longer need the chime. So now let's test and see what that did as far as power goes. So we plug in, we are now gonna hit the button on the doorbell. You can see that it's saying 20.2. And it dropped down slightly to 19.9. It dropped down slightly to 19.9, but that is definitely within the parameters of the Nest Hello. It didn't drop below 16, and it's not going to cause us a problem. So let's get back to if the app uh, told you to hire an electrician. What I did is I just skipped that. I, I made it look as if I didn't have the red or orange ring. I think it asked, do you have a blue ring? And I just put, yes. So everything's working right. And once I did that, the app worked, the doorbells worked. I haven't had any problems. And I've had this for now. Uh, gosh, I, I got it pretty close to when it launched. So I've had, a, I guess, for what, four months, maybe five months. I don't know. Six months. <laughs> uh, anyways, and it's worked perfectly fine by bypassing the chime. And uh, if you don't want to pass bypass the chime, I highly recommend you do just because you saw the voltage drop. But what you could do if you want to keep the chime in, in, in there is you can upgrade your transformer. Uh, I recommend that you use a multimeter to test yours to see what it's at right now. And uh, you can decide if you want to upgrade. Uh, this is a 24 volt transformer. And if you upgrade to that, it definitely will supply enough power to the Nest Hello even if you have the chime in place. Um, but the chimes are only rated at 16 volts. So, you know, it, 
it's possible that over time this would die prematurely. It'll probably take a while for that to happen because the Nest Hello only, when you hit the button, it only rings it for a second. So it, it's, you know, who knows how long it will last. Uh, I, I put one in, I put a 24 volt um, with a normal button and I've been hitting it, hitting it, pushing it, pushing it, pushing it. Uh, I did that for a month, not straight, just whenever I would go by, I would hit the button and it, it ran fine. So, I mean, it, it's not, it's not going to die on you that quickly, but it will have a premature death if you, uh, or failure, excuse me. Now, if you don't want to mess with the 120 volt wiring, you can just get a plug-in transformer. Uh, what you do is unscrew the, unscrew the wires off of this term, two terminals, plug it into the transformer, or screw it into the wire terminals at the bottom down here, and then plug this into the wall. And, you know, this, this one is rated at 24 volts too. Uh, you can get this in 18 volts, so it'd probably push out about 21 volts. And you would be close to the requirements of the Nest Hello. But I still recommend the best thing. You've spent a lot of money on your Nest Hello. And the best thing, in my opinion, now this is just my opinion, is to bypass the chime, hook it directly up to the doorbell. Uh, you don't need this anymore because this is just a capacitor and it just stores the electricity to use when the chime is drawing so much power. As always, thank you for watching, and please subscribe. I'm sorry that this video was so long, but uh, it just took that long. <laughs> so now we're going to test the transformer, and we have the power kit installed with just a regular doorbell. So what we're gonna see is this is gonna drop down to 15 or 16 volts, hold it there for a half a second, and then it's going to go down to probably around 13 volts once this is totally depleted. So let's test it out. So you saw that it dropped down to 16. Then it went down to 13, and that was only a fraction of a second. So that shows you that this really doesn't last very long when the button's pressed. Hopefully it's long enough if you're going to keep your transformers. Um, otherwise, I still recommend bypassing the chime.